Well, hello, welcome to Matt Bayashka YouTube channel. What an eventful week it's been. <laughs> You've seen some of the videos, right? Two little short videos, one of um, Plum and one of uh, Besenitsi, Besenitse, <laughs> Besenitz, Besenitse. <laughs> That's how you pronounce it. <laughs> it's been uh, an eventful and magical few days. Bit tired though, because been working really hard and when you're on the pursuit of Moldavite, um, <laughs> well, I, I was thinking, just sat there thinking, should I tell them exactly what happens? And I think, you know what, spoiling the illusion of Moldavite is something I don't want to do. But truth be told, it's important to tell the truth. It's important to tell uh, the whole truth about Moldavite. The reason why I don't really share it is because there's a dark side to Moldavite, there really is. And I guess as I was walking along I was thinking, you know what, there's a, there's a dark side to nearly everything when you think about it. You know, diamonds, they're blood diamonds and I guess whatever kind of product that is uh, a resource from Mother Earth, there's always going to be people trying to grab it and take it and use it and abuse it, of course. I mean, the abuse of crystals, uh, digging of crystals, mining of crystals, we all know it's tragic. It's heartbreaking. Me more than anybody, you know, feels the pain of the the the, the slavery, the, the raping of Mother Earth, taking too much of her. Leave her alone, you know? But greed has taken over humanity and um, that's the truth, it really is. And on all levels, on all levels, whatever, however you look at it, looking around, greed is, is far more superior than health and well-being. As you can see right now, what's going on with a push of a vaccine that, yeah, one of the, um, I was just doing some research on just one of very many uh, side effects. Forget that word, it's a joke, it's, it's cause. They say side effect because it's a gentle word to make you think, ah, it's okay, it's just a side effect. Well, wait till you get one of them side effects, then tell me if it's not the cause of what you've just taken. So let's not call it a side effect, let's call it for what it is, it's a cause. Uh, Kawasaki disease, just uh, do some studying. I think it's about time you do because if you're really planning on having a, a vaccine because you can't travel, you can't work, you can't eat, um, then I think you really need to know what's inside those vaccines first. So yeah, do a little bit of studying on Kawasaki disease. That's just one of the causes of vaccines uh, and uh, especially of this one as well. Not to mention RNA, DNA, life-changing, uh, horrific horrific um, yeah technology nanotechnology blah 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 anyway I'm still sat here I'm trying to live a life I'm in a mobile home drinking a coffee and enjoying life but at the same time if you're an empath you can pe feel people's pain and suffering so yeah, of course, I have to meditate a lot, I have to send good energy out there, I have to always remind my family and friends and everybody that the light always wins, so no matter what happens, the light always wins in the end. That doesn't mean you're not going to suffer along the way, um, like any, um, I guess, great story, uh, challenges there before the actual conquering of that darkness especially at the very end and I think we are now at that very end scene of uh, Lord of the Rings which is yeah pretty um, clever really where the few stand against the many evil who are pushing the darkness and just at the very end um, Frodo Baggins uh, and uh, is it Bilbo get to the top of the mountain and um, yeah it ends up that the, the darkness melts away and only the light is remaining filled with love and light a lot of people believe that you have to get rid of the darkness to create the light in the world i struggle with that because i believe there's light within everybody and i also believe that it's not people's fault that they can't feel that light within them because they've been so deluded so brainwashed so hypnotized by the mainstream media and what they've been taught from coming out of the womb so 
I think people who recognize beyond what mainstream media and the um, medical um, religion, I call it now, the science religion that we bow down to and just simply believe with um, blind faith, I, I, it's not their fault. It really isn't their fault. And I guess no matter how many times you scream and shout, you've probably figured out now that the programming is deep. It really is. So, okay, let's go back to Moldavite. More interesting, more fascinating, more beautiful. Let's talk about Moldavite. So, what happened? Hey, Mark, you said you were going mining. You can't mine, it's illegal. Yes, you're right, it is illegal. But I tried. I tried to get to the mines. I tried to mine, but um, unfortunately, it is illegal and you can't mine. Uh, I did try, I really did. I actually went to a lot of fields. They were all ploughed because I was told um, falsely that when the fields are ploughed, there's great chance of you finding Moldavite under um, where the ploughman has ploughed. Not true. <laughs> it's a challenge and to find anything is a challenge you really need to know where you're going and exactly where the mines are and exactly where the fields are now the problem with that is you can't walk on people's fields without permission I did and waited for somebody to come out so I can say is there any Moldavite here is it okay if I look if they say go away then I would have gone but predominantly I went to look for myself to get a, a single piece that I can find on the floor and say I picked this myself alas wasn't to be and alas the mines all three mines uh, I'll explain something sand mines are the places where most people dig now when that happens is normally um, out of hours so when the mine closes um, let's say a handful of people maybe 10 who all know each other who all guard that property with their life and um, trust me you won't want to go anywhere near there because these guys are um, not the most beautiful and kind-hearted people and of course they're on their guard because the police come and arrest them so here we are Moldavite how does it really work well, the government, of course, surprise, surprise, made it illegal for anybody to dig for Moldavite. And one of the reasons why is the farmers, quite rightly so, were going out to their farms finding big holes, abuse. Like I said, always abuse, right? Always ruins it for everybody else. So the government said no more. So it became an offense to dig and quite rightly so, quite rightly so. You don't want to be walking in one of the forests when there's a massive hole there and you fall and break your leg. It's all wrong. And a lot of the diggers, again, don't care. So they'll dig and leave big holes and go because it's too much of a ball ache if they, say, dug 30 holes and only found a few pieces and they couldn't be bothered to put it back again because greed is the only thing that they're looking for, not Moldavite. The greed of being able to get a little bit of money for that Moldavite to feed their habits, let's see. Okay, so that's basically the bottom line. There's three fields um, that are uh, mined in Clum. Mali Clum Clum. Very, very tiny, very tiny indeed. You can walk through it in a few moments. It's not on the maps. You won't find it on any Google Maps. So if you're thinking I'm gonna go there and, and try, let me tell you, if anybody's gonna try it, it's me. And uh, alas, if you are not of a major, major consortium, meaning that if you are not somebody who's got millions literally millions then you ain't gonna be buying any Moldavite from the mines because the mines the owners of the mines know that they're mining for Moldavite but they're also mining for sand so really it's kind of a, uh, a very clever thing to do open them a, a sand mine and in the sand mines when you're that's where really the Moldavite is 
um, you're taking the sand out and at the same time you're sifting filtering for moldavite at the end of a year the owners of the sand mines pack their suitcases and head out to one of the big shows and they've already sold those moldavites to the big boys let's say the Chinese now you say to me hang on Matt didn't you say Chinese fake Moldavites? Yes, they do. And something else they do as well is they like to buy Moldavite too. So when you buy a piece of Moldavite, so let's say a, a Malabead, beautiful Malabeads, or Malabeads around your wrists, the little balls, what they do very cleverly is they make millions of them in, in glass out of at blown glass and at the same time they'll take a piece of moldavite what they've bought from um, the mines and they'll carve again the same shape ball now when you normally buy a piece of um, let's say online uh, eBay or Amazon moldavite and it has various balls running around or even the roof it has been said to me and I have checked this and I've seen it myself that one Moldavite which is genuine is normally between at least two pieces and three pieces are false so fake so yes it's a Moldavite bracelet per se but you're not buying what you think you're buying. You're buying maybe one out of three or four beautiful Malabeads, which are Moldavite and the rest are fake glass, which to me is not only heartbreaking, but is uh, extremely wrong. But you know, when you look at, at this world we live in, it's, it is about profit, really. That's what it's all about so they can feed their families, feed them, but you know, you can still make profit and be genuine. So that's my argument. The argument to that is, yes, you can make money, nothing wrong with that. Profit, profit is a good thing, but you do it with integrity and you do not lie and you tell the truth. Somebody said on one of my videos, why do I look to one side every time I'm talking? Why don't I talk directly into the camera? The reason why is that there's two types of people in this world. One type is the one who thinks from the head and um, constantly, and the others who are pulling from the ether, the, the energy of the uh, universe. And we go into what's called a creative mode. This is my understanding of it. And a lot of the times I look away not to be uh, in focus of what I'm looking at, I need to get away from everything and pull out what I need, the words that I need, the energy and those uh, beautiful moments of channeling. So normally I, I could do this with my eyes closed much easier, but you'd think, Jesus Christ, open your eyes. So yes, I turn away. Just, just That was just a, uh, an off point, but that's why I do it, you know. Um, and I say erm a lot, which I, I wish I didn't, but I do, and it's who I am. So I can't change that and I don't hate myself for it. So I'm listening to this beautiful music, which is five hours non-stop bamboo flute. By Matt Bajorski, free on YouTube. Go and get it guys, it's lovely. Alex, have a look at that, what does it say? It says you had 41,543 views. Good for you. I've had 1,500 thumbs up and 15 thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful love this music okay let's get back to it then Moldavite what did I do when I went hunting for it well I tried my best to pick the pieces and spend hours going places new places to find fresh new people and the universe always tells me Mark 
if the right people are meant to be in your life they will come at the right time and the people who are in your life are the ones that we lead to you at the right moment so I make my various phone calls who I feel are um, the people I'll explain who they are I don't go directly to the diggers because the diggers are not somebody that I would want to go directly next to <laughs> because I probably wouldn't have a vehicle <laughs> nor would I have any money <laughs> and I'd have a sore head <laughs> when I woke up the next morning but you know what They're, these guys are, are just trying to uh, survive and uh, good for them they found a way the problem now is that we're in winter and the other problem was that because it was locked down and the fines and the uh, and all the rest of the, the uh, draconian laws were so bad that even the diggers realized that it wasn't worth it so nobody went digging nobody went digging which meant that there was no Moldavite. And let me tell you, when you go digging, it's in that sand pit. These guys, they must have some, they, they, I don't know, thick skin, like, because they're, they're digging in wet sand and they're raking through just to find a little piece. And sometimes they find maybe a little bit bigger piece and they can be digging for, you know, they start normally about four, five, something like that. When the guys go, maybe six, I don't know. When we went, I think it was, yeah, it might have been five, five or six. They were all getting out of their car when we were driving past. And they all had their picks. And they start around about that time and they finish the next morning. So they work 20, uh, from seven till seven. So that's, that's quite a lot of hours, right? So you go all the way around the clock and they dig for a handful, literally a handful of Moldavites um, and from there they have their uh, sources where they sell them to so they have long-term sources and they normally stick with those sources so then sources those people the people that I have got to know over 16 years and genuine authentic and very very uh, kind and uh, loving people my sources are normally the source that I, and first and foremost, want to know if they love the crystal. If they're interested in profit and money over the crystal, I very rarely buy more than once from them. <clears throat> very rarely. So I choose um, my contact and they have to have a moral, they have to have a passion, they have to have respect, and they've got to be fair. Um, I'll just give you a for instance. I went into one of the Moldavite stores, shops, and I bought from these people before under a trade um, name. They, they knew who I were, they, they know who I am. And what they tend to do is that they put their prices up um, between 50 and 75% more for me than they would anybody else because they know it's Mark Bayerski who works with Moldavite. This happened this time as well, um, yesterday. And something else happened as well in the shop and they thought I couldn't speak uh, Czech at all, but I, I do know quite a few words and I knew um, when the lady said um, we're gonna do you these at 50% the guy said in check no tell him 25 and that was it that was it I thought you know what no no so um, I, I do get upset when people do that I think it's really really wrong there's nothing wrong with having your price and then you make your decision but when people are winding you up, um, I think that's wrong. So for me, um, when I see Moldavite and I look at it and think, okay, what have you done? Okay, you bought it from the digger and you're selling it. So there's no other work done. You haven't really traveled like 
thousands of miles, you haven't taken that Moldavite, you haven't cleaned it, you haven't worked with it, you haven't done anything with it. So that is the price, the standard price. Yes, it goes up all the time. I get that. I understand that. But only to a degree. So after five days of hunting for Moldavite, I did really, really well. Really well. And I hope what I'm sharing with you today is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. What I have here today is what my company can afford. Um, it's as much as we could afford. It's, I would say, six months of Moldavites. So I did really, really, really well. I worked so hard for this. So I'm going to show you them now. These are Moldavites that need cleaning, but here they are. So you can see the size and you can see how many is in there. So there's that much thickness of Moldavites. Isn't that beautiful? Didn't I do well? That's a, a lot of Moldavite. So there's Moldavite from um, the petite, the petite pieces that uh, are these pieces. So what I'm going to do with these pieces, which are about one gram and under. So these will now uh, work with me for maybe 20 hours, as it is. So I'll work with this for maybe maybe a little bit more, something like that. But say 20 hours in this box. So I'll work on the energy of these as they are, because it's beautiful. So I'll put the first initial energy into these crystals, which will probably be and look at some of these as well from different locations so you can see the difference in color from location so there's many different locations of crystals there's Besanitz, there's Clum, Maliklum and there's also other places as well um, and then I have some bigger pieces okay which will be turned into this is quite beautiful which will turn into a beautiful pendant You can hear some of them tingling. They're like ding, ding, ding. And that's the uh, the chime, Moldavite, they sound like chimes. It's a beautiful piece. Some are denser, obviously, because they're thicker. And some are lighter. Beautiful. beautiful so <laughs> I couldn't leave without buying some Bessonese hedgehogs couldn't do it I just fell in love and I also bought a teardrop with <laughs> Oh, an air bubbling. Do you want to have a look at that? Let me go and get it. These are the pieces that I couldn't resist. <laughs> so here goes. This also needs cleaning too, so. Uh, how do we clean Moldavite? We clean it with, um, you know, the dish soap, the liquid dish soap, and a toothbrush. That's the simplest and easiest way to clean a Moldavite. Okay, so here you go, are you ready? <gasps> Look at that. So inside there, there's an air bubble. It's hard to see but it is there. Maybe you can just barely see it. It's kind of like this shape. See it? Yes, that is an extraordinary, beautiful piece of Moldavite. It is 
without doubt a museum piece and so are the other pieces I'm just about to show you too so are you ready <laughs> okay I'll show you one by one this is a hedgehog from Bessonitz Wow look at that beauty okay that's one and another Bessonitz hedgehog oh oh look at that that is just beautiful and you know I'm not expressing myself enough because the feeling I'm getting is buzzing all over my head uh, as soon as I open these Moldavites you can feel an intense buzzing you can also feel your heart which is like a palpitation you also get a red flush I don't know if I've gone red but I feel like I'm burning up and that's the Moldavite flush so spiritually speaking I should be talking more in terms of how powerful they are in the energy that they work with but you know the, the look at this one Look how beautiful Mother Earth has created this beautiful Moldavite. So she landed and then the water creates this beautiful, over millions of years, effect to look like, like a hedgehog. This one was really particularly beautiful because it was a different and very vibrant colour. This is a very special piece. Again, a hedgehog. But isn't that beautiful? A Bessonite's beautiful piece. Wow. I thought this was lovely too. I loved the shape of this one. Isn't that pretty? That beautiful? Spin it round, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Just the, the feeling of the inside of my stomach, it feels like I'm being healed. It's incredible how Moldavite uh, heals you instantly. It's such a healing crystal. This one I thought was like a butterfly, so two wings and his little head, but isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's a garter. <laughs> isn't that beautiful? That is just so wow. Isn't that beautiful? You might see something else in it when you look at it. I'm showing you all my pieces now. Okay, here's another beautiful, slightly bigger, a very nice quality very beautiful um, yeah it's just beautiful and and vibrant vibrant really vibrant the smaller ones which I really love and these fly out on my website I can't get enough of these and I understand why because the way we work with them is by placing it in the hand and because you're feeling all the hedgehog little spikes it activates a lot I mean maybe one day I should talk about that but it's a little bit like um, uh, Radrushka beads I can never say the word but the Mala beads Radrushka those beads on the beads they've got it's like a, a brain almost and and they almost look like that and when you feel and put your hand it's activating uh, and it's really powerful and look at that isn't that beautiful I'm going to show you them all because I love you and I know you enjoy what I enjoy. Look at that. Isn't that divine? Now these pieces, you've got to understand, come from a certain place and you just don't get them anymore. It's They're like gold dust. This is like gold dust. It isn't like, oh, you know, he digs them tomorrow. This is like years and years of clients that have had them and, and decided to sell them. So this is more about people's collections that I managed to find and people who decided that, you know, well, it's about time I sell them now because of one thing or another. I mean, I know it sounds really awful, but people aren't in a good place. So they need to sell certain things that you know to try and bring some money and they're losing their businesses they're losing everything so you know of course I'm gonna try and help and at the same time I'm blessed to be able to buy personal collections as well so look at that one that is gorgeous and so fine so beautiful that gorgeous really is next please mr. Bayerski <gasps> This one's gorgeous. 
Oh, look at that. Look at that beauty. Wow. Can you see well? I hope so. I'll show you again. It's like Christmas. Oh, it is Christmas. Look. That's like an angel with two wings. Two wings and that's the angel's body there, right? Isn't that like an angel? Isn't that beautiful? That'll probably fly out. But again, these are museum pieces. So this is not This is something I only dreamt of 16 years ago. I never thought I'd be able to ever be able to buy anything like this. So I'm really lucky because I buy them and I sell them on the website. So it's not really costing me anything as long as the website does well. So I buy them um, and yeah, I do get the most out of them because I work with them. I work with them for days, weeks, sometimes months and sometimes years depending on if I feel I want to keep it because it's not only healing me but it needs different energy in something's happening on another level and um, you know it's not ready for the person who wants it yet so like don't put it up yet I have no idea I just know that it's not ready yet and when it's not ready it's not going on so when it's ready I put it on and then somebody buys it and say, okay only that person bought it because they could have only afforded it, afforded it at that moment so it was for them at the right time so I do believe that spirit leads you to the right crystal I really truly believe that so isn't that gorgeous I'm gonna call that the angel I'm gonna name that the Moldavite angel that is a really really I really unique piece it's really beautiful because I can see an angel in that okay how's it going are you enjoying this is this fun okay here's another one look at that The color of this, if you can see it, is incredible. It's gorgeous. And look at all the, the shadows, the unusual um, indentations, and just everything about it is just so special. It's gorgeous. It's the little tiniest fraction of uh, the Moldavite just sticking out, just the tiniest, but you have to be so careful with these pieces. They are strong and you know but you have to be careful you have to treat them really well I like the little hedgehogs because they're affordable to people who you know just say well I simply can't afford that but that one I can so I try to buy the small hedgehogs can I get them like gold dust I managed to get what five that's it I've been there five days okay managed to get five isn't that beautiful And this was unique because on both sides there are hedge it's hedgehog on both sides because sometimes you have a, like a little bit of a flat section but it's really beautifully uh, even with this slight uh, it's like a channel it's a channeled uh, section just there but it's still so perfect in its uniqueness isn't that gorgeous you can imagine mounting that and wearing that Wow. Is it prickly? A little bit, but you know what? Proud to wear um, a hedgehog. Absolutely. Now look at this beauty. This is special. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. -wee. That is beautiful. really is beautiful <laughs> oh, I could play with these all day another nice little tiny piece of hedgehog again very rare beautiful coloration slightly darker there because it's thicker and lighter there so you can see the difference gorgeous eh that, that is beautiful you 
go. How is that? Oh, beautiful crow outside. I wonder why. Maybe the energy, eh? And another beautiful piece. Trying to show you so you can see it well. Beautiful and genuine. Oh, a little teardrop. That gorgeous. Little teardrop. Spin it without breaking it. Dropping it. There you go. Beautiful. And la uh, oh no, second to last. Now this is going to fly out because it's a tiny piece and it's a hedgehog. That gorgeous. Hey, I'm my third eye. <laughs> Okie doke. So, one left. Wow, nice one. I'm gonna hold it like that, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Woof. It certainly gets very, very hot. It certainly gets very hot when you're working with Moldavite. So, there you go, the pursuit of Moldavite. These now will um, come back with me. I then start the work of separating them, which will probably take about three days, maybe four. Separate them into the correct um, categories that I want them to be in. Then I will uh, start cleaning them, and that takes a few days. Once that process is done, um, you're going to see something beautiful soon. And it's, um, I ordered it a while ago, and it's um, basically a Moldavite singing bowl. And it has the vibration of third eye awakening, surprise, surprise. So it makes sense, so it's made of Moldavite. And what I'll do is I'll put these into the Moldavite singing bowl, and for maybe, I don't know, three or four or five hours, I'll spend 20 minutes every now and again and just put that energy into them. I'll select a few and then work with them for however many hours. When I'm happy with that few, I then put them aside and leave them in a room filled with positive energy all the time. So nobody goes into that room unless they're filled with happiness and joy. Um, singing bowls are used all the time the uh, energy in that room is filled with uh, the sound of five hours bamboo flute um, and it's high energy we cleanse and clear it uh, every day so the environment is important once I've got them because you know I don't know where they've been who's held them and you know a lot of people want to know and they want good energy in them so I pride my work with energy um, within the crystal that's why they're different from anybody else's crystals because I work with uh, putting new energy into crystals as well as the memory already holds which is like a double whammy um, and I've been doing that 16 years now if you don't know who I am and it seems to have paid off people love it and people uh, we are up to I think yesterday I asked where uh, it's gone down a bit because of COVID but we're up to 80 I think four. we were up to like 89 uh, percent uh, returning clients but we're up to 84 uh, percent most people can't even believe that people you know have to go and advertise and advertise we don't advertise we just do uh, the YouTube channel and returning clients so it's pretty cool and that says a lot it really does also we're up to thousands of giveaways as well so I'm proud of the website I'm proud of markbyeski.com I'm really proud of what we've achieved 
um, and and what we uh, what we stand for you know help people who can't afford and you know that I, I probably I might be wrong but I think I'm probably one of very few people who's ever given away so many Moldavites and I have literally given hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Moldavites to people who can't afford them so when the website does well my understanding of that is if I'm doing well because people trust in me then I can gift to people who can't afford and you know what that's that's what I stand for this month alone I've been told to slow down because I'm giving too many away and it's not good for uh, the tax man I'll investigate and he won't believe us this is the, the criminal system that we live in so you know but I haven't slowed down um, we I mean what have we we're up to just within I've just been away now two weeks three weeks and we've given away I think 480 that's a lot of wrapping and packing that's a lot of crystals that I had to work on and uh, yeah so we're really proud of that and thank you for your messages as well by the way they're really they're really heart touching they make me feel amazing anyway sorry sidetrack going back to this so once I finish working with them what happens then is that when I'm 100% certain that I'm happy with the energy within each Moldavite they then get sent off they go to Bali and in Bali they get um, mounted mounted and signed MB Mark Bayerski so you know it's a genuine Mark Bayerski Moldavite because a lot of people are selling Mark Bayerski Moldavites right now and they're not so people are, are, are being pretty awful and I think that it's not nice and, I, and shame on you if, if you're one of those people who do that don't do that but but now I'm able to put MB on I, I wasn't before because I couldn't afford that but now I can so I can now start to afford to do a little bit of different things but yeah um, once they they go to ballet which takes I don't know maybe two to three four weeks to get there they then have to sit down the beautiful family of uh, experts of um, making the jewelry so they mount them in certain ways that I asked for always highlighting the Moldavite rather than highlighting their work because it's taken many years to actually you know meet a family or, or a, a designer a jeweler that hasn't got massive ego and wants everybody to see their work because it's not really about their work it's more about the the Moldavite you want to see the Moldavite so we don't want to see too much of the work involved of, of their work even though it's important how it's mounted it's important how nice it looks and the design so there's a, a lot of different ways sometimes it's just a simple cap but sometimes it's it's different designs if you go onto my website you'll see there's some really beautiful designs but still highlighting the crystal emphasizing the crystal rather than the silver work or the the gold work once that's done they get shipped back that takes again about another four to eight weeks once I've received that back and paid all the duties uh, both ways can you imagine um, I then start on the work again so um, I put extra energy into them I finally uh, finish them off and say okay that is now ready to go on the website so that's basically how it works so these are Moldavites which will be for the next six months and yeah really proud of them so that is the process that I've been doing for 16 years so when you buy a crystal off markbyersky.com now you know the process and it's a beautiful process and it really does work so if you're ever in the uh, the thought of starting a company it's a really good way to work work with crystals put good energy into them uh, and only work with uh, crystals when you are a hundred percent both mind body and spirit if you're not feeling well don't bother stay away from them or heal with them let them heal you but if you really are uh, somebody who wants to start your own company and sell crystals and you want to sell them with nice energy in, you've got to be 100% committed in the work you do because sometimes I remember when I first started people used to say to me Mark when is my crystal ready and I'll say well I'm not I'm not uh, fully healthy at the moment you're gonna have to wait well I want it well you can't have it so it, it's about honoring what you really do and if you really 
really mean what you do and you really know it works, then there's no way you'd go near any of your crystals if you're not feeling too good, both mind, body and spirit. So that is the secret to pure energy healing crystals. It really is. So there you go. I'll show you once again. There you go. That was my beautiful trip to the Czech Republic, uh, second time this year and the last time this year. And I hope you got some information from it. It was a bit like a workshop, a Moldavite workshop. You got to see the best Moldavites in the world, hedgehogs. Uh, and the Mali Clum and Clum uh, little tiny pieces as well as unusual shapes and now you know how it all works and you kind of understand that the chances of you going to the Czech Republic and picking Moldavites I would say is pretty slim um, I don't know if I mentioned this but the law in the Czech Republic is that even if you are a farmer and you own your land, you can only, you, the land that you own, can you imagine, is one, uh, one foot. That's your land, one foot. Anything under that doesn't belong to you anymore. So, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I was told. And I think the reason why they did that is because they know that Moldavite, you have to dig a lot deeper. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something else as well. Many years ago, the criminal government in the Czech Republic, because that's what I call every government criminal, nobody else can dig, but they decided to dig one of the Besenitz fields, Besenitze fields. So the government gave approval, right? So they started digging. The government came in with their big, massive trucks and they started plowing one field, which is one of the most precious fields of, um, I mean, there's not many, but one of the most precious fields of the most amazing um, hedgehogs, Moldavite Besanites. So the field was massive and there was truckload after truckload coming in, digging, putting it all into big trucks, one after the other, tons and tons and tons of them. And um, the story goes that the government um, only did it to help uh, Bessonitz and, and give the, the locals some money to build some stuff and, and make some improvements. And apparently, this is the, uh, the myth of the story, I don't know if it's right, but um, we don't know how many tons, 100, 200 tons, 300 tons of um, <clears throat> mud and Moldavite Bessonites headed to Russia. I wonder what it did in Russia and I wonder where it is in Russia and I wonder what the Russians wanted with Moldavite and it often surprises me how when I speak to certain people who have been in the, the work of Moldavite digging and being in this very unusual extraterrestrial energy why is it that they're all so frightened not of their government but of the CIA watching and listening isn't that funny I wonder why that is I wonder what it is in Moldavite that these secret agencies and governments are so interested in eh? Well, if you've ever worked with Moldavite, you'll know. And I also say this, if every single human being held a piece of Moldavite, I would say the chances of awakening would grow by 80%. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for going to markbayerski.com and buying your authentic Moldavites, knowing that they are genuine and 100% worked on by myself. I appreciate it and the fact that you go there and trust uh, in my work is a beautiful thing. I really appreciate that. I really do because it helps those who can't afford. So it's a win-win situation. And yeah, I, I took off Gift It Forward because 
I know you guys keep asking me to put it back up, but you know what? If if my website's doing okay, then I can give from uh, the profits of MarkBayeski.com freely to the people who deserve crystals who can't afford them, and that's going well. So. I don't need to ask for anything and I don't need for you to give me anything free. You just need to buy some off the website knowing that you're going to get some and somebody else who can't afford gets it. And more than anything, it means that no people can point their finger at me because it's so easy to point fingers at people because when they say, oh, he's taking money off people, you know, people are so judgmental and yes there are a lot of people who do that but I don't need to do that anymore I don't I you know I genuinely know that my clients help um, by going to markbyeski.com and I'm able to help people who can't afford so and nobody can call me now which is great because people do like to call you when they're jealous angry or in a bad place and wish they were you know in a in a better place and that's fine it's okay but yeah, I think I'm in a, a very fortunate position right this moment, surprise, surprisingly, that the website keeps going and we were able to help people every single day. And like I said, I'm never going to stop to my last breath. So I hope you've enjoyed this Moldavite workshop. Love you all. Again, thank you for trusting in my oils, Moldavite oils. Thank you for trusting in uh, the healing oils, the abundance oils, the heartbreaking oil that I, I recently made. Thank you for uh, trusting in the awakening oil and all the Paolo Santo incense sticks with added Moldavite. Um, the last lot came um, while I was away and uh, one of the staff were, were painting the Moldavite, uh, Moldavite dust, which I now get as dust, thank goodness, and they were painting them on so we're uh, okay now with the cleansing sticks and we sent Moldavite powder to our um, village in Peru who uh, make our sticks and they added the um, the powder and they sent the sticks and they came over I think a few days ago so they're now being uh, wrapped and packed as the um, Moldavite awakening sticks which seem to be one of the best sellers as well as the cleansing sticks at the moment so yeah got some here just used it this morning and feel great I actually feel great I might look a bit tired because I've done over 10,000 miles in the past few weeks I've been non-stop driving everywhere I'll do a video and talk to you about the traveling and uh, one particular point where I was uh, literally um, abused by um, uh, one um, one crossing from one country to another this the most places is no problem at all but yeah I was interrogated in one country and I'll tell you who that country is and I'll, I'll name and shame them for being such a uh, uh, an abusive an experience that I had to go through for no reason so uh, and I'll tell you all the beautiful things that I've done where I've been uh, and that'll be on my next video I think and I think that's enough I think we've done 50 minutes not a bad workshop eh? a Moldavite workshop from my heart to yours have a beautiful day and thank you for always being kind caring to others the heart that gives is always full and never forget no one has the power over you have a great day, guys, wherever you are.